one of the things we might talk about in terms of Christianity and yep. Christology is um, you know I was talking to a friend of mine and I mentioned uh, our interview yeah and uh, his response was well the church has it all wrapped up already <laughs> um, in the mass and with the Eucharist and we don't need another we don't need a scientific uh, proof uh, for the uh, transubstantiation of of, of, of of the Eucharist, and uh, so that's that's one um, problem that you're going to face is the no, intransigence. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to. Yeah, I'm not trying to displace what the church has got. I'm right. For me, it was well. I was a scientist, and I finally, uh, I finally got it. Um, I finally got the reason to believe. Right when I had my experience, it was like, oh, right. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so it kind of uh -huh. like slapped me in the face and just kind of went, "Wake up, you!" <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes, so, yes. So, so it was. It was more about me realigning my science to make sense in terms of my beliefs. Um, so right. it no longer right. became a belief; it became a uh, a sense of reality, where my science really just mm -hmm. kind of supported the the way that I did things and, and my and my kind of understanding of of God um, and my connection to God. Right. So, right. so it wasn't right. about really trying to say, "Hey, hey, science," uh, or "Hey, religion," you got it wrong. I think you know we can look at the the science model and understand it from the perspective of measurement and how measurement right. breaks breaks that kind of mirrored symmetry at an atomic scale, and then there's mm -hmm. this whole kind of stability around this atomic system as a a sided mirrored opposite. Um, you know, the neutron and the positron on one side, and the electron and the proton on the other. And mm -hmm. when you have that kind of geometry within the structure of the atom, it mm -hmm. becomes aligned with a biblical story rather than the material right. reductionist perspective that science has developed through that measurement process where atoms have only got neutrons, protons, and electrons. So all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I had a slightly shifted perception of what atoms looked like and then that mm -hmm. took me away mm -hmm. from the solid matter physics model the standard model of particle physics into mm -hmm. a, a model that allowed me to kind of reconcile biology and the unstable part of that kind of high energy physics that's operating and that aligns beautifully with the stories that are that are in the bible so yeah, I, I shifted. I shifted my perception, my my perspective of reality. So I went from that looking externally into the mm -hmm. universe to looking mm -hmm. internally within the mind, and that mm -hmm. shifted perception really aligned me back to the the teachings in the Bible. So yeah, it wasn't about trying to come up with a scientific way of explaining the bible it was really for me to come to terms with how to understand the bible why I, I kind of shifted my science to understand looking inward right. rather than outward yeah right 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 interesting 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 and what um is there any particular part of the bible which interests you which you find uh, reinforces your theory or is reflects your theory more than uh, another part of the bible well i look at i look at um i guess a little snippet we're looking at the, the new testament of course mm, mm. i mean you know we're we're doing Christology. 
Yeah. So yeah. in in the New Testament, uh, is there any particular part of the New Testament which you would you you would like to draw? Uh, well, draw even even looking at the creed, or? even looking at the creed, um, the Nicene Creed, um, uh -huh. you know, understanding the 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 technologies that I've been developing as a scientist in that kind of regenerative medicine space mm -hmm. had, um, you know, obviously I'm looking at biological systems and trying to understand the natural kind of regenerative processes that are happening in wound healing um, and embryology, healing without scarring, um, all mm -hmm. of you know, if you think about the teachings of, you know, of Jesus being able to heal people by touch. Mm -hmm. you know, so, as a scientist, I, I think about that, and I, you know, he's performing miracles. Mm -hmm. and I don't mm -hmm. understand the science of miracles <laughs> as a mm -hmm. as a scientist mm -hmm. that's talking about regeneration and healing. Mm -hmm. Would be, mm -hmm. you know. How do I how do I reconcile those things? So one of mm -hmm. the one of the aspects is you know the only begotten Son. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, thousands of years ago, um, John the Baptist, you know, baptized Christ in the river, but he, mm -hmm. he ate he ate locusts and ate honey, wild honey, right? So mm -hmm. for me begotten not made right it mm -hmm. wasn't about his in a sense his birth mm -hmm. it was his his life that resulted in the creation of of him mm -hmm. so he okay. was even though you know a divine being for me, I looked at the wording of the creed in terms of begotten, not made, and mm -hmm. looked at the functionality of, well, the Holy Spirit comes as gentle as the dew fall. Mm -hmm. So I took that to be literal, right? As a literal, here's a, a technology being developed that I've been developing that produces something that uses light mm -hmm. and christ is the light the way the truth uses light in order to put a a molecule that lasts for one nanosecond a billionth of a second that has enough energy to break down all of the biological molecules within a cell turning them back into co2 mm -hmm. and water and that mm -hmm. process can be delivered topically so in a sense it's a light healing technology that i've been developing looking at the biblical context of the holy spirit and the biblical context mm -hmm. of this hydroxy radical system in terms of this healing energy that christ had mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it was a way of kind of looking at the science, looking at the Bible, trying to understand the idea of begotten, not made, and the role that the Holy Spirit plays in the creation of, in a sense, it ties light together. It makes a quantum mm -hmm. coherent system, and biology is mm -hmm. just slowly starting to emerge into that quantum kind of space, quantum biology space. So, you know, seeing the connections between that kind of biblical knowledge and the scientific knowledge of quantum biology and making an interdisciplinary connection between science and religion has allowed me right. to, to draw on the knowledge that's in the Bible in terms of begotten, not made. So having a technology mm -hmm. that supports healing and regeneration using a, mm -hmm. a topical product made from made from honey so you know right. it's both right. both grounded in a, a kind of biblical realm 
but it's also grounded in a scientific realm and mm -hmm. you know getting the kind of credibility and the evidence for the the functional benefits of the product in mm -hmm. turning pain off through a topical spray having people heal pain in arthritic limbs that they've had for 20 30 years right so it's breaking down the old tissue removing the pain and actually are now allowing people to kind of heal and regenerate their bodies so the okay. technology was being demonstrated clinically in people to have benefit on the basis of following a more kind of i guess intuitive sense of the connection between this begotten not made a topical product light mm -hmm. being able to be delivered into the human being to help in the healing and the energizing of the being mm -hmm. so you know i i started not only looking at the language similarities between the bible and, and science and things like take the plank out of your eye before you take the splinter out of your friend and science right. having a plank length right mm -hmm. so you go well so what you know what's what's the big deal there and then the six days of creation and the six days that it takes for the egg and sperm to fuse and then travel down the fallopian tube to implant into the uterus in order to create a human being so in other words i looked at it as really a way of understanding biology a different way of understanding mm -hmm. our biology as a human being mm -hmm. rather than the the kind of bricks and mortar approach that that science and that reductionist perspective has created and uh, you know it's got dna it's got rna it's got proteins it's got all these kind of building blocks but you know if you go and get your lego bricks and you build them together and you stick them all together mm -hmm. what does it do it just sits there it does nothing there's no functional mm -hmm. actual energy within that system at all and that's not mm -hmm. how biology works that's not biology is a cohesive quantum field of energy and it's built fundamentally through hydrogen and so yeah. i was looking at that understanding and that kind of comes through the bible more than it does through the science that we understand at the moment so if you look at the the way uh, through him with him and in him if you think about where hydrogen and its roles that it plays in biology they're aligned uh, the thinking's aligned while well, it's in water uh, mm -hmm. It's in the production of unstable atoms. So mm -hmm. energy production, if you think about ATP. So mm -hmm. all that kind of energetics associated with biology, with motion, with thought, it has a fundamental aspect of hydrogen biology attached to it. And mm -hmm. we've really not gone there, right? We've not gone into the understanding of the quantum features of hydrogen as an element in our biology mm -hmm. to understand how our biology operates we've kind of created right. a carbon-based framework the carbon-based biochemistry receptor mediated sig signaling on the outside of the cell you know we've created such a wealth of information but they're still mm -hmm. just building blocks they're like the, right. the lego bricks and they haven't right. actually conveyed what life is and so we've lost the idea of the functioning within that lego set that science has built for us and i think right. we really need to take that step back and really integrate look how to integrate the information in that kind of biblical spiritual context in order to understand how to then connect the two in order to understand the dynamic processes that are actually functioning that are responsible for connection responsible for 
how we actually can be the way we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Right, 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 right. Very interesting, very interesting. Well, um, what you're, you're doing essentially is you're drawing a series of parallels. Yes, uh, a comparative analysis between the two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is no logical connection, but there is a comparative analysis. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is interesting, which is interesting. And that's based on faith uh, more than anything else. Um, faith and insight. Mm. Uh, uh, and it will be up to, to people to... Um, to cohere to what you're claiming or not. Yep. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's a lot of information for tonight. It is indeed. Uh, I think we should leave it there. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. But uh, certainly you've clarified for me how you make the connection with the New Testament and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And another point we can talk about what you're doing with honey yeah, and the healing aspects of it. Uh, and uh, that would be interesting for people to know. Um, yeah, let's let's do the next one on that, on the I Behave Empowering Healing product. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds Great. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. As always. And uh, you take care. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.